What's up, go ahead and you know it's your boy GAC Hustle, and we back with that pressure. As you can see from that title, we'll be doing a PSA dagger un unboxing. I literally only bought this because you guys requested this gun. Honestly, I'm kind of stacked on nine mil pistols. I'm really curious about this gun because I'm trying to see if it's hype or is it really pressure. So as you can see, it does come with a soft pistol case and it does have a little stitching right there with the PSA in the dagger logo. I think that's kind of fire right there. Alrighty, let's see, man. I'm very, very excited to see what this is. What is the hype? So as you can see, we have the PSA stickers and then down here we have the PSA gun. <laughs> Let's go to the stickers. Oh, what's this? What? All right, so this is my receipt. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. God, dog. Forty-eight dollars for an FFL transfer. That is ridiculous, bro. Comment down below how much do you guys pay for transfers where you at? They wasn't forty-eight dollars at first. I could have sworn it was twenty dollars at first. Looks like I'm gonna be finding a new FFL to be transferring my guns. Forty dollars? That's a box of ammo, bro. You do have a PSA dagger sticker. That thing is pressure. Most definitely gonna slap that on my sticker table. And then we have this Palmetto State Armory sticker. Uh, probably put that on my safe. I think this sticker is fire, though. The PSA dagger sticker, their logo is that's pressure right now. So they send you this barcode for the manual instead of sending a big package that nobody reads. RMR optic plate and of course you got to get the lock that nobody uses you have their logo on the lock so let's look at the psa dagger yes lord let's take this little orange tip out where to go oh as you can see no bullet in the chamber and then where is the mag and then we come with one mag the freak one mag that's it one measly mag that's it? How much is this mag hold, bro? Cause y'all, 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 this better be an infinity mag. We're gonna send one mag. It's a P mag. 15 round P mag. You get one 15 round P mag. Looks all scratched up, by the way. What are y'all doing? Recycling mags? Come on, man. At least let me get a, a, a nice clean mag. Okay, okay. So this is how it looks with the mag in there. And I gotta say, man, it looks it looks kind of fire. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna stunt you. It's really giving um, P80 vibes, I'm not gonna lie. But not just your average P80, okay? It's giving me big P80 vibes. So, so you got P80 and then you got big P80. Cause it's like, it's like, a, it's like a Glock clone, like come on man. Anybody can tell that this is, this is a Glock clone, a knockoff Gen 3 Glock. Gen 3 Glock, PSA dagger. PSA dagger, Gen 3 Glock. Hmm. You can tell they're very similar, but you can tell that they're different at the same time. Gen 3 Glock has the finger grooves, and then they don't really have the finger grooves, but they do have a little groove right there for your finger. It looked like the flashlight rail is a little more extended than the uh, Gen 3 Glock. Hold on, hold on, hold on, we not doing this. We not comparing this, but we do gotta look at the slide release. Come on, man, slide release gives it away. But we not comparing this. So this bad boy cost me about $359.99. That's a great way to just say $360. As you can see from the front, it comes with a threaded barrel. That's pressure. As you can see in the front of the slide, those little cuts right there, they picked that there for scientific purposes, all right? Them not just looks. Those right there are called extreme carry cuts. It's supposed to give you plus 10 speed from drawing from the holster. Now, I don't know, I haven't drew from the holster with this yet, so I can't tell you if it really give you plus 10. It might only give you plus eight, I don't know. PSA Dagger comes with a 4.5 inch stainless steel barrel and we all know black is beautiful it has that dlc coating on there is that a i don't think that's a plastic guy rod oh wow it does have front and back serrations now these are some really deep serrations like you can really get a grip let me let me see if i can do it with two fingers <laughs> hold on hold on 
on, let's drop the mat, let's try it again. Well, I gotta say those are some great serrations because my finger did not slide back not once, but I think it's just that recoil spring that's like making it a little tight. So one thing I do notice is there's nothing on this slide. It's like an incognito, like there's no PSA dagger, there's no serial number, it's nothing. It's just a plain black slide, and I think that's pretty cool. On the barrel, it does have the nine by 19, nine millimeter. You do get co-witness iron sights out the box because they did give you an R-mark cut. I think that is fire. These are true gold iron sights, so as you can see the front sight, let's see if we can get it to focus on that front sight. The front sight is orange, kind of reddish, orange, it's orange, and then you get the back iron sights and they're green. Um, they do glow, so they are night sights. Yeah, the front sight glows green, back sight glows green. That's that pressure water right though. I believe I said this already, but it does have the arm mark cut. So that is the slide. I'm looking at the slide plate and I don't think these are the same as Glock slide plates. So you might have a little issue if you like changing out your slide plate. Let me see right quick. Let's see. No, 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 it's the same slide plate. I take that back. Most definitely the same slide plate. You do have a polymer frame. It does have a nice curve up there, you know what I'm saying, to protect yourself from the slide bite. As you can see, no slide bite, no slide bite, no slide bite. It looks like the mag release is only made for right-handed people. You cannot swap the mag releases. So you're left-handed, I don't know, man. You gotta hit them with a I did just notice I'm missing my back trigger pin. It does have some nice texturing on there. It's not rough, but it's not soft. I would give it a, um, you're leaning more towards the soft texturing. If I can describe it with my own words, it'd be like a mesh texturing. It looks pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. They even have some in the front for where your fingers go, and then even on the back for where your palm sits. Pretty nice. As you can see, that trigger guard has some little grooves right there. Nice, cool little grooves right there. And then they even have like a little knuckle cut right there for you. And then one thing I did notice back here is they left some little cuts right here. They cut this open so you can grab that mag. That is, that is genius right there. That is very genius right there. Cause sometimes when you drop the mag, the mag doesn't drop. Not, not saying Palmetto State guns, but I'm just saying like guns, period. Sometimes you try to drop the mag and the mag don't drop. So they left you a little more space right there so you can just yank that gun out. Gen 3 mag release, so it's kind of small. You might gotta look for it, you might not, who knows. Bang, bang. But I'm liking this, man. I gotta say from the looks, it's a cop. The incognito black, not too much branding on there. Oh yeah, you do have Palmetto State on the frame, but like it, it just kind of blends in. Like it, it looks kind of cool to me. So I do have a scale right here. Don't ask me why. Just know I got a scale. So let's see how much this thing weighs. Hold on, we gotta wait till it hits zero. There we go. Let's see. It weighs one pound seven ounces. Let's get this thing loaded up and see how much it weighs loaded. Well, I just took the mag from my Gen 3 Glock and it fits right in, no issues. So let's just see. We have 15 uh, rounds in there. And it, now we're at one pound, 13 ounces. Um, obviously the gold plated mag plate could play a role. And depending on what grains you use and what ammo you use, could also play a role. Okay, so this is a Gen 3 Glock mag. Let's see, um, this is my Glock 17 Glock mag. Let's see about that one. Nice, nice. Just a little wiggle. I'm sure, I'm sure that wouldn't be an issue though. Let's try my Glock 19X mag. Obviously, this will work. Ooh, I like that one. That one look nice. And now we have that Glock Extendo. Yes, Lord. Uh-huh. Kind of liking that. Nice for EDC. So far from unboxing the PSA Dagger Compact, 
I can say I kind of I'm, I'm kind of liking it and I mean it does kind of make sense since it's a it's a Glock Gen 3 knockoff so now I'm very interested to get this out to the range and piss some rounds through this bad boy and see how she shoots but I gotta say from the price point you do get a whole lot of gun for this price point my only concerns now is how many rounds can it take how many rounds can it take how much beating can this thing take? Y'all thinking what I'm thinking? Cause if we thinking the same thing, I'm thinking a torture test. <laughs>